There's three basic ways to build counters. There's decimal counters, there's decade counters, and there's binary counters. The decimal counter counts zero to nine in the numbers we all know and love. The decade counter just lights up in sequence from zero to nine. And the binary counter counts up to like 64,000 in binary. So how do counters work? There's three basic parts. There's the clock, the counter IC, and the display. The first part of the circuit is the clock. In electronics, a clock is a repeating set of high and low pulses at precisely timed intervals. That's a fancy way of saying it's just a signal switching on and off. This particular circuit uses a 555 timer, but any clock method will work. It could be a push button, a response to sunlight, or anything else you can imagine. Any method that is capable of creating a low to high signal switch can be used as a clock. The second part of our circuit is the counter IC. For this circuit, we're using the commonly available 4026B counter. Each counter IC has any number of output pins that can be translated into readable numbers. The last part of our circuit is the display. This particular display has seven individual segments that light together to create readable numbers we're used to. These seven segment displays come in all different sizes in two varieties, common cathode and common anode. So when creating a counter circuit, all you need to do is remember this. The clock bone's connected to the integrated circuit counter bone, the integrated circuit counter bone's connected to the display output, and then you're good.